Um, Director Hara, thank you so much for agreeing to speak to us. I want to begin by asking about the initial reaction to the film upon its initial release. Um, how was it received by the contemporary audience? Uh, the answer is that, uh, yes, it was quite uh, provocative at that time because uh, the uh, women's movement was quite new in Japan. Uh, at that time, uh, the country was uh, uh, more, uh, not that progressive, I would say. And the role of men and uh, women in family uh, was as it, be, as it was before. So uh, a lot of attention was brought to this uh, movie when it was uh, filmed and uh, when it was uh, uh, put in action. Yeah, uh, They couldn't release this uh, film uh, to the public because it's uh, like a uh, documentary style. Uh, and to make more people involved, uh, they uh, actually uh, paid for the hall, they rented the hall uh, and started uh, showing uh, uh, the movie themselves to all the people who wanted to see it. And after some time, it uh, became quite famous. <clears throat> um, moving from 1974 to the initial reaction to the present, um, I read in an, an interview in Senses of Cinema that you said that audiences continue to teach you about your own films. And I like the generosity of that remark, but I'm curious as to what audiences have, have taught you about your own films over the years. When they released the movie, uh, there were a lot of people who would like it and who would dislike it, maybe 50, 50%. Uh, but still uh, the reaction was uh, quite interesting. And maybe when he started his film, he almost disliked uh, the woman uh, being trying to be uh, very independent, trying to give birth to the baby herself, trying to make money herself, trying to live one alone without a man, uh, uh, without this traditional type of family. And maybe he was also uh, disliking it at that time, but uh, during these uh, years, the audience uh, changed maybe his own uh, scene of this all changed a lot. And right now he understands that uh, women uh, need more uh, freedom. Uh, they, uh, they are free to live on their own and uh, um, uh, can do what they want to do. Uh, and also he said that even some girls who would uh, see his movie, maybe 10 years, 15 years, 17 years, uh, uh, they liked the way uh, Miyuki-san gave birth to her uh, second kid by herself. And they even uh, uh, wrote uh, uh, several uh, mails, uh, several letters uh, to Mr. Hara, uh, just trying uh, to express the attitude that they liked this scene very much. And uh, some of these girls would like to ask uh, their boyfriends uh, to buy eight millimeter camera, which was maybe uh, in sale uh, in Japan at that time to uh, shoot the film, to make the movie of the birth of the baby. Yeah. The third question I wanna ask is about authorial perspective because in the way that non-fiction cinema is discussed and written about, it often seems as though it's all subject and that the director is just the person who happens to be there. Um, whereas in Harasan's films, the question of what the director is doing is essential at all times. Um, so can I ask Harasan about what he thinks his role in that sort of participatory filmmaking is the role of the director? Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Hara was in the situation like a love triangle between him, uh, Miyuki and uh, Sachiko. And uh, of course, most of the people, uh, most of the people in traditional Japan, they would be very embarrassed, ashamed, shy of this kind of situation. And of course, nobody would tell about it. 
and nobody would talk about it. But uh, he decided to do it in a wrong way. So he decided uh, to get uh, rid of this fear and make a movie about it and uh, just, you know, kill this kind of shame maybe within himself. Uh, so he he would call it self-documentary at that time, and uh, it was quite new for Japan. Uh, mm. There was no other uh, uh, director trying to film any self-documentary about him, about himself. So it was quite uh, new in Japan. And also uh, maybe his biggest role in this film is that he wanted to show uh, the uh, new woman, uh, the woman uh, who want to be alone the woman who want to be uh, who wants to be independent and uh, he wanted uh, to get rid of uh, this kind of uh, so he wanted to have the same uh, rights for men and women uh, at that time because you know really japan was very traditional uh, and uh, there was a special uh, place for men and women in the society so he wanted to show to japan uh how uh, hard uh, uh which uh he wanted to share to show to japan the, the way of living of uh women at the time and uh sh wanted to show that it could be different i think we have time for one last question and um i want to ask a slightly off topic one and it's just about documentary filmmaking today um, rather than about extreme private eros. Um, so I'll ask, um, what are the films and who are the documentary filmmakers who you admire and whose careers you're interested in? So mm -hmm. he adores Frederick Wiseman a lot and uh, he has a big respect and uh, popularity in Japan as well. Uh, maybe uh, his uh, best film Ohara thinks uh, Ohara -san thinks it's a Boston mayor's office. Mm -hmm. So he likes uh, the way the film is shot without no narration. And he likes that uh, Mr. Frederick Wiseman doesn't put himself inside the movie. It's like contrary to Mr. Ohara. Just sure. quite different style. And that uh, what makes it very interesting. So he keeps uh, uh, the director out of the movie. Another uh, good sample is Wan Pin from uh, China. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he says that uh, the movies uh, he shoots, uh, they are not supported by Chinese government. Uh, Chinese uh, uh, officials, they don't want to disclose the inside life of China, especially in movies like this. Uh, and he says that uh, it's uh, very hard to shoot uh, any uh, documentary in China nowadays. So, but still, he likes the uh, style of Wang Pin. Maybe his style is uh, making films using a lot of uh, documentary scenes and uh, real people from real life. Uh, also, he says that there is a, uh, a lack of. Uh, uh respect lack of attention to documentary films uh, especially in japan mm -hmm. because very few people are watching this kind of uh, films and uh, very small popularity compared to like europe or united states uh, so he thinks that uh, people like frederick wiseman and Wang pin uh, they are uh, making some new kind of films uh, more interesting uh, uh much uh attraction mm -hmm. uh, for the people and he thinks that if uh, people would uh, uh, know these uh, filmmakers uh, the documentary style uh, will be spread more that's an excellent answer I was, I was hoping Wiseman might make the list he's a favorite of mine as well um, I think that's all we have time for so it leaves me just to say an enormous thank you to Harasan Arigato Harasan and Thank you very much. And thank you to Ivan for interpreting as well. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's all. See you later.